Hey, good evening, everyone. Uh, a little bit of breaking news here on a Saturday night. Uh, happy Saturday night, by the way. You're probably watching basketball like I've been after uh, coming home from dinner. And uh, hey, uh, Josh Veldman, uh, linebacker. We currently have him ranked as a two star. That's a really low ranking. He will move up ranking wise. Uh, but again, just an initial ranking on him by rivals as a two star. But uh, Josh Feldman uh, makes an official visit, an unofficial visit today to Northwestern for a practice. Uh, and then uh, Josh a little while ago posted on his social media that he is committed to the Northwestern Wildcats. And uh, again, a very nice get. Kind of hate, I hate using that language, but it, it really is a nice get for Northwestern here. Um, and again, Josh, uh, we'll get into uh, Josh a little bit. Have Did not get a chance to see him play live. Uh, did see Josh in a practice last year. Uh, I was at, uh, actually, we do a player of the week uh, with 1340 WJOL. And uh, he was there and uh, obviously got to see him in person a little bit. Um, impressive young man. Um, again, just, uh, I, I think what really stands out are his physical tools, um, just does a lot of things well. And again, it's, it's, it's another nice, uh, in-state commitment for Northwestern. And this is a Northwestern program, even, you know, pre hazing and, and everything else that Northwestern always does. Let's go back to Pat Fitzgerald as well. They always do a very good job of identifying their targets early in the process, which they certainly have in this case with Josh. Uh, I think of uh, Caden O'Rourke, another one that they have been on for quite some time and ended up landing a commitment from him. Um, so, again, Northwestern doing a nice job of, of kind of identifying their targets early, being able to get out in front and uh, get to know these kids. And as we've seen at uh, – it definitely pays off. Uh, this is the second in-state commitment. This is actually the second Lincoln Way uh, commitment, of course. Uh, Caden O'Rourke, three-star ranked defensive end uh, at Lincoln Way East across town on the West End over in uh, uh, New Lenox slash almost Manhattan, uh, just a little bit down the road from East. Uh, now Josh Veldman commits. Uh, and again, 6'2", 210 pounds, good-sized kid, really good length. Uh, there is no doubt that his uh, overall athletic ability really stood out uh, this summer and this summer, this winter, I should say. I'm sorry, I'm mixing up my seasons. Um, and his stock really took off. Um, a ton of MAC, a ton of FBS offers. I believe uh, Northwestern was his first power five. I know Indiana was interested. I know Michigan State and Purdue was interested as well. But, uh, you know, again, Northwestern, the first one, at least from a, a Big Ten power four standpoint, to extend an offer to Josh. And uh, as we've seen, you know, Northwestern does a very good job of closing on kids, especially early. They get that early offer out there. Uh, boy, it is it is tough to say no to Northwestern, even, you know, coming off the hazing scandal and what have you. I mean, it still does, doesn't change the fact that, you know, uh, David Braun did a hell of a job last year. He was the Big Ten Coach of the Year, and deservedly so. Uh, and hopefully they've been able to put a lot of the scandal behind them a little bit and move forward, and certainly in a recruiting standpoint they have. And Northwestern has moved forward. There is no doubt about it. And, uh, again, a nice, nice – Verbal commitment here from, from Veldman. Very interested to see what other teams are going to continue to recruit Josh. And, and you know it's going to happen. You know there's other Big Tens that are going to come in and offer him a scholarship. Uh, the little that I have gotten to know Josh, uh, seems like a very good kid off the field, obviously. Very good player on. Very a good young man off the field. Very good academically, as you'd imagine, with Northwestern. Um Wildcats have had a lot of good luck hanging on the kids over the years when they make this early decision. So, again, um, you never say never. We've learned that before, and anything can happen. We learn that as well in this process. But uh, another nice in-state commit. This makes five already for Northwestern. So the Wildcats are starting to 
start to get out there. And as we know more often than not, and again, I know portal changes things a little bit, uh, maybe a few more offers out there more than usual for Northwestern. But as we've seen over the years, um, Northwestern signing class generally anywhere from what, 12 to maybe 15 at the most, most years, year in and year out. So again, uh, it's a good start for Northwestern uh, already having five kids and we're just at the early part of March. So again, next couple of months are going to be big uh, for Northwestern, really for everyone, because the process is going to start ramping up. Kids are starting to get out, as we've seen today. Today, really kind of the first big day where uh, schools are able to host kids on campus. Of course, the colleges can't get out into the high schools yet. It's still a quiet period, but certainly players are allowed to make uh, on-campus visits, and uh, Josh Feldman did that today. Ends up coming into Northwestern. So there you go. Uh, my take on Northwestern getting a verbal commitment today from Lincoln Way West, Josh Veldman, linebacker. Thanks, everybody.